Hey guys, it's Stacey here with another video for you. I am finally ready to make a, a short review about my new camera, which is, is the Sony A6000. I basically bought this camera for videos because I am not much of a photographer. I do like taking pictures, but um, this camera was bought mainly for uh, vlogging. Uh, you guys know that I have a GoPro that I also use to vlog because it's much more compact but um, I am not very happy with GoPro when it comes to low light situations and uh, I was very much uh, under the impression of this A6000. Actually I was thinking of buying the uh, 5100 because it's much more compact and a little bit cheaper but what actually made me go for this uh, version uh, is basically the hot shoe and I'm going to explain why later. Well, this is the camera, as you can see, it's still very compact. I really like it very much because the quality is really good. It does have a flip screen, but it does not go all the way up. For instance, if you want, this is basically for pictures. So if you are uh, 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 taking pictures on a low uh, angle, so you can actually see what you're framing, or if you're uh, taking pictures over uh, your head, then you can also see what you're uh, framing right there. But if you are using this for vlogging, which is the reason I bought this for, you cannot actually uh, take advantage of the screen, which in my case, I don't really mind so much. First of all, this camera has a wonderful uh, continuous autofocus, so it's a very reliable. So you don't have to worry whether you're in focus or not, because let's say 90% of the times you are in focus. Secondly, I noticed that I picked up some cameras that have the flip up screen all the way, and I found myself looking all the time on the screen, which is very annoying because if you are vlogging, if you're talking to someone on a camera, it's very, very important that you look in the lens because otherwise you don't actually connect with your viewers. And the flip up screen was actually, actually uh, distracting me. I caught myself looking all the time on that damn screen and I decided for myself that I didn't want to have it all the way there. So I thought that this would be uh, good enough and I actually sort of mastered uh, the position where I should hold the camera when vlogging. So uh, let's do a little test on this. So I'm going to just turn it on. I'm going to put it on a movie mode, which is basically the easiest way. Okay. And now we can actually uh, hit the record button, uh, which is right here. And let's do a little test. So it's recording. And there we go. So you can see me now. Hi, it's JC here. I am just running a test video with my uh, Sony A6000. Basically, the sound that you're hearing is coming from the built-in microphone, which uh, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. And this is where I am going to explain now why I decided to go for this camera as opposed to the 5100. So back here on my Canon 700D, you just watched a very short video coming straight out of this camera, also including the built-in audio. Now, why did I go for this camera? Because of the hot shoe. The hot shoe, even though this camera does not have a connection for external microphone, it does have a um, multi-function multi-function hot shoe, which works with special microphones made specially for Sony. And that's the second thing I want to show you. This is the microphone, which is called a Sony ECM GZ1M. And this tiny microphone is specially designed for cameras with that type of hot shoe, which means that once you have this microphone, you can actually connect it to the camera, which is a very easy to attach, just like that. Okay. And now you're supposed to have a much better sound. So let's turn it on. And here we are. This is JC here using my A6000 together with the uh, external microphone designed especially for this camera. I personally think that the sound is much better with the microphone. So that makes this camera handy, portable and perfect for vlog situations.
This is the kit lens that comes with the camera. It is the 16 uh, 15 millimeter. And as you can see, it's not that long, but uh, once you turn it on, uh, it comes a little bit forward, but still very compact. At least I think it's compact. And the quality is not like extremely great, but I mean, it does the job. So I'm very happy. Maybe in the future, I will um, try to change uh, the lens and try to get one that it is a little bit better in low light situations because this one is, uh, what is it? It's 3.5, 3.5. So I might get one that is maybe uh, 2.8 or 1.8. I don't know. I'll leave that for the future but right now I think this one does the job very well. I sometimes use this camera with my tripod which is this uh, tiny a little Joby uh, so it makes it even more comfortable to carry the camera around. As you can see it's still not that gigantic setup and I think it gives you a little bit more stabilization even though the uh, lenses have already uh, um, a built-in stabilization. So all in all I'm very happy with this camera. As you can see I am not a very technical person so I don't know how to discuss too much details when it comes to technical things but I think this is my version as a person that uses the camera for a very simple a thing which is like vlogging so if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them as much as i can i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day bye